This video I'll show you Hoxton, the area of East London, home to the funky vibes and Bohemian wonders. Here we go at the top of the glass on a roll, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out. One of the most vibrant area in East London, located in Hackney. Let's go. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't Before we start this video, guys, please hit the like button because then YouTube ranks my video in high results. And now let's go. Hoxton is often confused with Shoreditch, one of the areas of East London that used to be one of the London boroughs. However, Hoxton now is the part of the Hackney borough. The south of Hoxton is more or less ex-industrial estate. There are lots of warehouses where now it's located offices and some kind of media companies. Whereas the northern part of Hoxton is more residential and there are more estates where people are living. There are lots of council estates. And this area was damaged heavily throughout the Second World War and many of the Victorian and Georgian houses that used to be here before was destroyed. Living here is actually quite pricey to rent the studio or one bedroom flat will cost you something about 1800 pounds a month but to buy is like 600,000 pounds that's what you will pay for a studio flat in Hoxton but at least if you like parties if you like fancy restaurant and funky bars then you will save on the transport I mean you probably will still can afford you to pay on your underground and tube if you buy the flat in Hoxton but the convenience of saving time is kind of cool living in zone one of London at some point Hoxton was one of the worst slums in London but the change has come recently and the area was gentrified. First of all, the artists who were attracted by low rent cost came here and started working because they didn't have money. But then once it's become trendier and trendier, more of the high tech and startups was coming here. One of the examples when ex-industrial warehouses were converted into the luxury flats. And now we are on the Hoxton Street. This area used to be the Hoxton Market before. From 1670s it was to be a thriving market here until the 1980s when it all went to decline. But recently in a collaboration between uh, Hackney Council and the local trade communities. The market was re-established. It sells a wide range of household goods on the week and on the weekends and specializes in selling independent fashion as well as design and art objects. Now we are on the Kingsland Road, the eastern boundary of Hoxton, and we are going to one of the point of interest, the Museum of the Home. It's a quiet area next to the busy road and it's very beautiful. Look how pretty it is over here. This museum used to be the Jeffrey Museum. It was the official name. The Jeffrey was a slave trader. He has a dark history. That's why it was decided to change the name of this museum to more neutral, the Museum of the Home. But there is a still statue of Jeffreys and there is now the discussion to get this statue removed. There inside you will see how the English houses and the English homes they will transform from time to time. I recommend you guys to come here. It's one of the top things you can do in Hoxton. Once you go in this part of Hoxton on Kingsland Road, you should come and try one of the Vietnamese restaurants. There are multiple amount of them. They are standing next to each other. And this part of London is famous for Vietnamese cuisine. It's very authentic and Many Londoners actually coming here, especially for this reason, to the Kingsland Road. Hoxton is located in Zone 1, 2, and it's well served with public transportation, including Hoxton Overground, 
old street tube stations as well as multiple bus links and Boris bikes if you are into cycling. Hoxton attracts a credible amount of young people because it has a variety of restaurants, bars and if you look around you can feel this vibe of uh, parties, all that graffitis and street art on the streets and on the doors. Now we are on the southern border of Hoxton which is close to this city of London and if you'll see there out of the fog there are a few newly bit skyscrapers and it's a big contrast to the Hoxton with the young crowd the city of London is more or less business and office workers but how dangerous is Hoxton or how safe it is Hoxton is in London borough of Hackney there are 32 boroughs in London and Hackney is in the top three with the highest crime rate but most of the crimes is connected to the bike thefts so as soon as you lock your bike safely as soon as you look after your belongings and save the common sense you should be all right We are in Hoxton Square. This square is full of people in summer. Now it's winter and it's a bit rainy, so that's why it's kind of empty-ish. And probably from here everything is started. If you look around, it's uh, surrounded by old and new uh, buildings. Some of them been converted to luxury flats. It cost millions to live here, to buy the flat here. And some of them are converted to offices and businesses. Now after the pandemic many of the commercial properties has left out, many of the spaces are empty and vacant, probably it's going to be a good opportunity for you to come to Hoxton and open your own business here. If you are coming to Hoxton as the visitor you won't find any problems with your accommodation. There is a number of different hotels as well as incredible amount of accommodation rented on Airbnb and other sources. If you look around, there are many places that are completely graffiti. This mostly happened in lockdown, in pandemics, when there were not many people outside. London was quite empty. We are approaching Old Street where is the tube station zone 1 and this area is well occupied by the tech companies it's very very well uh, developed and this new skyscraper has been built here quite actually recently within just a few years and here in the southern part of Hoxton I'm finishing this video about the most vibrant area of Hackney and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button because then YouTube ranks my video in higher results and subscribe to my channel because I publish interesting content about London and healthy lifestyle comment what you would like to see in the next video thanks for watching bye